Greetings. What a pleasure to see you here joining our Juneteenth celebration, the state of the Black Partner. In recognition of the Juneteenth holiday, we're honored to build upon the vision and hopes of so many who have come before us. Have they been rooted from unbelievable sacrifices with a desire for both freedom and equality, we could be here at this point today. I wanna to welcome all of you, our partners and our BCPA community. The Black Channel Partner Alliance is excited to bring together partners, allies, sponsors, business owners to acknowledge the progress of our community and to know that we are committed to accelerating the growth of black innovators and black owned technology businesses. Our vision is to create a world in which black owned technology businesses are not only equitably represented in the industry, but that they are leading in the industry in revenue generation, growth and thought leadership. It is our hope that you will leave more informed, inspired and with a drive from new relationships that you connected with today. It's our desire that you carry forth this Juneteenth spirit forward. Thank you for joining this moment, this Juneteenth celebration, the state of the Black Partner. At this time, we have a special message from Dr. Nancy Tolson, the Assistant Director of African American Studies at the University of South Carolina. And then following that, we're going to have a special Microsoft Black Partner Growth Initiative video entitled, Build, Dream, Grow. Hello, my name is Nancy Tolson, and I'm the Assistant Director of African American Studies at the University of South Carolina. On June 19, 1865, Union soldiers rolled into Galveston, Texas to let the slaves know that they were now freed. Many didn't know, after all, it was January 1st, 1863, that Abraham Lincoln did the Emancipation Proclamation to take effect that all slaves in the South were free. But for some reason, the slaves in Texas were not notified. During this time, slaves moved out. They moved beyond Texas. They went to find their relatives that may perhaps have been in other states. Some were even killed because slave owners were not appreciative of this news, while others went to other states to start their own lives and own homes. After that, on June 19th, there were emancipation celebrations. There were picnics, there were gatherings, there were lectures talking about how to uplift the people, how to make the race better. There were great celebrations throughout the United States and whatever there were slaves or freed men that were part of Texas, they were able to celebrate and they passed that on to their children and their children's children. They made celebrations of picnics. They had lecturers. They had wonderful gatherings all throughout the United States. One of the things that they favored were red hued foods, watermelon, red pop, red velvet cake, because it represented the blood and the resilience of the enslaved people. They wanted to be remembered. They wanted to remember all the things that they had gone through, but they wanted to remember that it was time for justice. It was time for equality. It was time that they had voting rights, civil rights, and they wanted to have much more freedom. In 1967, Martin Luther King with the Southern Leadership Conference gathered together to discuss the Poor People's Campaign. This was an opportunity for all people Black, white, Native American, as well as Mexican, to get together to march on Washington. This march was to take place in May of 1968. But unfortunately, Martin Luther King was assassinated before that time. But it was not squashed. Coretta Scott King, Ralph Abernathy, as well as Jesse Jackson took the helm and started the march. Today, the Poor People's Campaign still takes place and it always takes place around June 19th. This year, it'll be June 18th. 
the Poor People's Campaign, or what Martin Luther King said, a revolution of values. Opal Lee grew up in an era where having a celebration of Juneteenth was destructive. Whites were still angry, and sometimes their homes were burned down, and some people were hurt. She campaigned for over 80 years to make sure that this day came into effect. And during the time, the last couple of years, where we've had so much discourse and so much racial divide, it was time for that act to become a law. And so last year, the Juneteenth became a national holiday. And at 95, you see Opal Lee celebrating. Yes, Juneteenth is significant. Yes, Juneteenth is here to stay. Yes, Juneteenth is important, not just for the people of Texas, but for everyone to know about equality, about justice, about righteousness. Thank you very much. Yeah. All I do is win, 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 no matter what Got money on my mind, I can never get enough And every time I step up in the building Everybody hands go up And they stay there And they say yeah And they say there Cause all I do is win, win, win And if you go in here, put your hands in the air well, welcome everyone to the BCPA Juneteenth Cel Celebration. My name is Nyasha Tundwani. I'm the board president and founder of BCPA. I have with me my other board members, and I hope they get on, uh, Danny Brown and Frank Valdivieso. Uh, BCPA is an organization that is founded with the belief that partners know ultimately what is best for us. And so BCPA is an organization for partners and by partners to help you and your business grow. So we had the song playing just now because that is the song that this organization was founded on, which is essentially to help all of us win in collaboration with our partners, Microsoft, Henson Group, Avpoint, all of us together building an organization and building strength that will ultimately build uh, wealth within our community. Danny. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much, uh, Nyasha, for introducing me. So excited to be here with everybody today and look forward to the rest of the event. Really excited about the history of Juneteenth. Really excited. Cool. And I think Frank was supposed to be up here, but we haven't seen him yet. Hey, Carol, how are you? I got, I got some people over here that we've had the opportunity to, to interact with and affect their businesses and their lives over the last year. Frank, it looks like you are joining us now. There he is. There we go. I was in the background jamming, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love the song. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We're very excited to have everyone uh, join us for this uh, very uh, amazing occasion uh, celebrating Juneteenth today with us today. Frank, can you tell us something pretty exciting that's happening for you this year? Well, I would say not just for me. I think for the partners. One of the things I got to experience early this week uh, we basically had a meeting with the alumni of our first two cohorts, and it was so energizing to hear the successes that those partners are having as a result of these programs and all the um, resources that have been provided either through the Black uh, Partner Growth Initiative or through BCPA. And then I personally, obviously, I've benefited greatly over the last year, uh, specifically in working with Darrell Booker and the NTA program. So it's been amazing and looking forward to the future. And I know we're gonna get into that a little bit later uh, in our uh, uh, presentation here, so. Fantastic, we have a couple of Accelerator graduates coming through uh, through our Accelerator and our growth program. And uh, we also have a presentation from our partners at Microsoft that are helping to drive the growth uh, along the partner ecosystem. I got, I got Joseph uh, on the line. So one of my partners that uh, we work with currently who we met uh, through BCPA and the work we're doing. I am the co-founder, chairwoman, and CEO of Engage Media. Engage Media Company is a digital media production and services company where we develop video games, immersive experiences, augmented reality, mixed reality, virtual reality, 
our customers are within the museum space, the education space, the industrial education training and certification space, as well as the governmental space. I got involved with digital media and AI as a little girl dreaming of always wanting to be in media and animation. I wanted to fulfill that purpose. And for me, purpose was being in the media and entertainment space in two areas. One, driving it with technology and content and having my own company. And I just love it. I don't get enough of it. Integral is the integration of people, technology, and change. We focus on people, their diversity, what makes us all unique. We integrate that or leverage technology over that change. Any obstacles with people communicating, collaborating, we allow technology to be the glue that enables that. I would do technology even if I didn't get paid for it. When I was young, my parents, I don't know how they afforded it, but they bought us a Tandy computer. My heroes are my parents, hands down. They worked overtime and made sure that we had it. From that, that spawned an intrigue in computers and computing, and we're here today because of that. Stimulus is a relationship intelligence SaaS platform that uses data and analytics to really help companies make better purchasing decisions and make sure that we are restructuring capital back into Black communities. The benefit of being a Black business owner is the understanding of how to really grow our community and support our community. We're thinking about jobs, we're thinking about how do we build things for the masses, but also for our people and making sure that everyone feels heard. Our technology platform is built on Microsoft Azure. So we've been able to obtain and utilize the software that Microsoft has built to really grow our company and grow our customer base. Jones Software Corporation is a digital social impact enterprise. We focus on students K through 12, primary or secondary education, further and adult learners and corporations. When we look at the state of education, we started on the founding principles that all students should be treated equally. And we know through history that really has not happened. Jones Software is a byproduct of understanding that call to action. And so we've created an ecosystem that focuses on underserved, underrepresented youth. Success doesn't happen in a bubble. You're going to need support. It was very difficult for us as a startup to come into the educational sector, we were not welcomed with open arms at all. Microsoft Black Partner Growth Initiative, it's a ecosystem. Microsoft is bringing in resources, whether that's human capital, business capital, subject matter experts to help in the technology aspects, especially with the software as a service. They are giving you a total commitment to take your business from a to Z. Black Partner Growth Initiative is a way to step in and say, we understand that you guys can deliver. As they say in the South, we're going to fertilize the soil for you to give you a good foundation to build on. It's a program that they put in place to present a mechanism to increase the diverse pool. They provide us with access to resources, technical training. They gave us executive coaching. They have a team of people that all they tell you, tell us what it is you're trying to do. What are the obstacles that you're facing? I was introduced to the Microsoft Black Partner Growth Initiative by someone within Microsoft. They said, hey, look, we think that you would be a great partner with us. This relationship could be mutually beneficial to both parties. And what was your response? Absolutely. When do you want me to sign up and where? Because our products are built and leverage the cloud, Microsoft's initiatives for using renewable sources and sustainability, our products are built on top of that. So we leverage their infrastructure, which gives us the ability to say we are supporting those same things. Joining BPGI was, I'm going to say a godsend. We really wanted to be treated like a corporation and not set apart. With BPGI, we've had insurmountable growth that would have taken Jones Software three years to accomplish.
Microsoft Black Partner Growth Initiative is so important, not only for the business of the Engage Media Company, but other African-American-led businesses. It assists you to level that playing field of value. Bringing on a partner like Microsoft provides the level of insurance sometimes with customers that allows them to say, hey, look, we're in good hands. Stimulus is providing growth for the African-American community, making sure that they're obtaining amazing contracts and partnerships and resources that they need to grow, to hire, to maintain, to really help their community as they're thinking of creating generational wealth for their families. In the future, my goal is to give back to the community. What Microsoft has done for us through the program and capital enablement, just set aside a certain number of funds to give to companies that are minority to fund their growth. What engaged media looks like for the African-American community, we became trailblazers. We knocked down doors that now others can walk through. We can partner with them and we can walk side by side with them. The benefit of being a Black-owned digital media technology company is your ability to be able to bring in some of the most compelling diverse stories. And not only can you bring those experiences, man, you also know all the technology that goes along with it. The blend of those two things, priceless. That was fantastic. Incredible insight about the importance of Juneteenth and about the progress of the partners within Microsoft's Black Partner Growth Initiative. We're pleased to now have a special message from Microsoft's Vice President of US Channel Sales, Lonnie Phillips. Hello, Black Channel Partner Alliance community and allies. I'm Lonnie Phillips. Vice President of U.S. Channel Sales here at Microsoft and the executive sponsor of the Microsoft Black Partner Growth Initiative. Two years ago, our CEO made a commitment to address racial injustice by diversifying our partner ecosystem. That is where the Black Partner Growth Initiative was born. And from that point forward, we have worked tirelessly to recruit and develop a strong group of Black-owned technology providers that has transformed the way we think about our partners and everyone's unique needs. We remain committed to this incredible community of partners and are committed to helping you continue to grow your business and thrive. Today, we celebrate you and the partners who are building and dreaming and growing with us every single day. We're here to honor their work, their stories, and the lasting impact you're having on this ecosystem. As we approach a new fiscal year here at Microsoft, we look forward to doing more incredible things together and with the Black Channel Partner Alliance. Take today to celebrate and connect with one another but most important, let's remember that we're celebrating the freedom of being able to build a strong Black-owned business and community that empowers us all. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. I now want to invite onto the stage one of the founders and board members of the Black Channel Partner Alliance, Frank Valdivieso, along with Nyasha Tunawani and Danny Brown, Begin BCPA because they recognize a need within the technology space to create a community of Black tech partners to provide education, tools, and support for obtaining capital and opportunities within this vast technology ecosystem. Let's welcome now one of our very own Black Channel Partner Alliance Board of Directors, Frank Valdivieso, who will be providing an update as to the state of the BCPA Black Partner. Frank, we welcome your words of encouragement for continued growth and progress of the Black Partner. Hello again, everyone. I'm so excited to be here again with you today on this great occasion. What I hope to do today is provide you just a glimpse of where we've come and where we're going in the future. 
Um, it's amazing to think back that a little over a year ago, none of these programs existed. And in my opinion, there has never, ever been a better time to be a Microsoft partner. Um, one of the things I like, uh, there's, there's this African proverb that I love that I believe that really sums up for me this journey that we've all been on. And that is, you know, it goes here. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And that really, for me, kind of sums up this last year. When I think about all of the resources that have come together and have leaned into this in our community, it is amazing. You know, obviously, starting with Microsoft and all of the resources and programs that our partners have been provided access to, this did not exist over a year ago. When I think about how IMCP and Women in Cloud have also leaned in and Voices for Innovation as well have all leaned into this cause to kind of help us, it's been truly amazing. So let's talk a little bit about, I just want to highlight for you um, our goals. And again, uh, we started this off and a lot of our thinking about this was really based on a, a report that the Foster School of Business uh, created which basically found that black owned businesses needed access to the three M's and that's money, markets and management education. And from that, we developed our goals. And again, they're very simple. We set out to help at least 100 black owned tech companies realize $100 million in net new revenue, create 800 new tech jobs in our community. And last but certainly not least, uh, perform at least 1,000 digital transformation uh, projects for community-based organizations in the Black community. So as we look back, if you will, in terms of our year in review, we obviously kicked off our Black growth program. And like I said earlier uh, in the program, I was really excited to hear back from some of our alumni earlier this week about the successes that they've had in terms of the resources and the access to resources that they've, that they've been provided. And I am truly looking forward to all of the uh, success stories and sharing in the, their success uh, you know, in the years to come. Henson Group, this was an amazing program. Greg Henson, a CEO and president of Henson Group, uh, basically is providing mentoring services for our um, members. And again, think of this. I mean, I'm a big believer in if you wanna be successful, do what successful people do, right? And Greg has been amazing in this series, providing one-on-one -on -one support and guidance um, and oversight and insight into what does it take to really scale and grow a business. And again, this is access that we've never had before, and it's just been amazing. I want to thank Greg for his continued support of our community. Um, uh, the Azure Scholarship Program, again, this was a beautiful collaboration between the communities within our ecosystem. Again, this was VFI, INCP, and Women in Cloud coming together to kind of sponsor this scholarship program for women of color. We've been hosting monthly PowerForm events to provide our members with access, but we, and also information, or as we like to call it, cheat codes into the issues of the day. So we had Joseph Henderson, one of the high performing partners in our ecosystem, come and talk about his journey. We just recently had the team from Microsoft come in and talk about the cloud solution uh, program and give us an overview of that and some of the things that we need to take into consideration as we're looking to move to the next uh, level, if you will. And then we just completed this week our first uh, boot camp uh, with AFPOINT, which is just amazing. We had, uh, I think it was nine partners in that program. There was a lot of competition between the members in there to see who's company would have the most certifications and ended up being uh, Craig Phillips team from Grindstone. Uh, but I think we got over uh, almost 40 certifications out of this boot camp. Um, the commitment from AppPoint is also amazing. They're providing um, graduates of this program up to $20,000 a year in market development funds and also some free licenses as well. Again, just phenomenal program. We want to thank them for their uh, sponsorship and for leaning into our community. We also have provided um, our members with access to some business education. We had a, a session uh, early last year where we had the team from Golden Tax come in. And I know Eric Fraser's on the call here uh, today, a graduate of that program, myself included. Um, again, providing our members with access to these opportunities as well. 
And then just a few months ago, we hosted a get together for federal government partners that were coming in for a DISA conference here in DC. So that was very exciting to host them. And in that meeting, there were several members that were able to network and actually hopefully go on and do business together. So that's just a little bit of what we've accomplished this year uh, together as a group. As we look forward, um, what we wanna do and where we're gonna be focused on again is really now focusing on providing access to opportunities and that's through partnerships like Henson and AvPoint and adding to that as well. Obviously providing our members, uh, those of you that are I'm sure are aware by now, the Microsoft Cloud Partner Program is providing strategies and support in helping our members accomplish uh, those goals. And then creating a peer and accountability groups as well. Again, uh, I've been fortunate to be a, a part of an accountability group and it's done amazing. Uh, it's been an amazing benefit for me and helping me to focus on keeping my eye on the business. And then we will continue to expand our growth program and provide more network opportunities. Before I leave here, there's a couple things I wanna say that I'd like to make sure that you guys, everyone does here today, kind of call to action. If you haven't done this already, if you're on this call and you haven't applied for our growth program, please do that. Uh, secondly, please, please, please register for the Microsoft Black Partner Growth Initiative. The resources that they have there are just amazing to help you accelerate your growth as a partner. And then last but not least, please register for a Yav Point Bootcamp as well. Again, I look forward to networking with all of you after this event. So just uh, just so everyone knows, the, the group that's coming on was part of our growth program. So our growth program or accelerator is something that was really derived from a program that I happened to participate a couple of years ago that ultimately took my business from a little over 500,000 and over a million. Uh, the key being really around focusing what you're doing within your business, uh, choosing a particular industry and then driving the business growth forward from there. So uh, we have one of my, my participants, my friend, Eric, who I happened to hang out with yesterday, uh, which is the other phenomenal thing about building a community is that, you know, a lot of times when we're in business, we'll work in isolation. I think at this point, you know, being able to be one call away from someone you can reach out to is something that is impactful. And as a black, black founder myself, being able to connect with people that look like me that really understand what that experience looks like has been highly invaluable. So Eric, uh, pleasure to have you here today and hopefully the rest of the panelists eventually make it. Either that or it's gonna be a great one-on-one -on -one conversation. How are you? <laughs> we, we can handle it, we can handle it. There you go, how are you today? I'm doing excellent, I'm, I'm, I'm doing very well. I was glad I was actually able to to, to get here. Um, <laughs> running into some issues, but no, my, everything's going really well for me right now. Very good. Well, why, why don't we do a, a, a brief intro, name, company, and your elevator pitch? Um, yes. Well, I'm Eric McFraser. Um, my business is Pacific IT Support. Uh, we are a, a managed IT services provider. Um, we have two locations um, in the Pacific Northwest, as well as in um, Maui, Hawaii. Um, but we, you know, you know, we're very client dedicated um, and, um, you know, our focus coming up for the next uh, year or so is to really start helping uh, growth minded businesses align more with Microsoft um, and that ecosystem and, 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 and help them become more efficient, uh, secure and, and also help them become more scalable. Perfect. I love how you're, you're giving back as part of what you're doing, Eric. So that's fantastic. Can you tell me just what the last year has been like for you um, around the business, you know, things you've changed since you've been involved both with BCPA and with BPGI over at Microsoft? Oh man, um, the last year has has been a whirlwind um, and it's it's crazy with, with COVID and everything, you get the, the COVID warp. Um, so it feels like it's been, uh, the last year has been two or three years, um, but, uh, you know, I've done I've done so much. I mean, the my net network, just like you guys have been already talking about, has expanded um, exponentially. I mean, I know people you know all over the country now, uh, which was something something that's completely new for me. Um, you know, we we've gotten more access um, to to Microsoft and understanding that ecosystem more, um, as well as uh, you know, we we've gotten funding through Microsoft. Um, I just graduated from the um, the Goldman Sachs 
10,000 strong businesses. Uh, let's see, I started working on a nonprofit uh, to still start helping uh, BIPOC businesses uh, and professionals uh, in the uh, nor Northwest area. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I could go on and on, man. The last but, year has been crazy. So Eric, it sounds like you've been a little busy. So let's, uh, let's uh, uh, isolate a couple of things, right? So um, BCPA's focus when we first launched and uh, Frank uh, uh, talked about this earlier. So access to money access to business education and lastly access to opportunity so we'll talk about the first two um, because you mentioned a couple of things about that so let's start with the education first just because i think that that is important so you came through the accelerator can you explain a little bit just the the your mindset as an owner uh when you started this journey like a little over a year ago and your mindset now just tell us what the you know what you've noticed or what the differences are um well my mindset before was definitely, you know, I, I've, I've always been, um, you know, a self starter and really go after things. Um, but I feel so much more empowered now. Um, one, like you mentioned, you know, seeing other business owners who look like me who are doing the same things um, had that that alone has been uh, empowering. Um, but some of the support that I've gotten through the community as well, um, that also uh, helps tremendously because you feel like you're, you're not the only person in your corner. You know, you've got other people in your corner who are, um, you know, who are actually, uh, you know, rooting your business on and, and, and hoping that you succeed. Um, so, yeah, um, y you know, I definitely view business differently than I did a year ago. Um, I feel like there's so much more that I can do and I have people and assets and resources now that I can fall back on. Um, you know, when I need that help, I don't have to do it all by myself. Fantastic. Very cool. Thank you so much, Eric. It looks like we have our second participant of our panel on the fly here. So Christine, welcome. Thank you. Excellent. Good to, good to have you here. So, uh, let's just start out, uh, where we started with Eric. So name company and elevator pitch, please. Okay, my name is uh, Christine Kinyanja. I'm the owner and founder of uh, CKSS. CKSS is an IT consulting company specializing in cybersecurity, IT operations, and cloud computing. And our target market is small, medium businesses and some select few federal agencies. And we are MBE certified from the state of uh, Maryland, and uh, we are also 8A certified. And we are pursuing the the GSA schedule and the women own small business uh, certification. Perfect. And like Christine reeled off, she has a lot of uh, letters behind uh, both her name and the company. So we've got what a CISP, CISSP, a couple of other criteria, and you're now an MCS supplier, if I remember correctly. Is that is that true? Yeah, and also Azure Security Engineer. Also, okay, yes. and that's all. That's all. I mean, a lot of that realistically is within the last year, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Excellent. And we have uh, Mr. Roy Hodge on the call with us today. Hey, Roy. Hello. Hello. Excellent. Good to see you, Roy. Good to see you as well. Very good. So let's get a quick intro. Uh, name, company, what you do. Uh, sure. Roy Hodge, founder and CEO of REH System Solutions. We're an Ohio-based Microsoft uh, CSP, uh, MSP. I founded this company after spending 20 years in corporate America. Um, we are SBA 8A certified. We're in our fifth year. The work is coming from the Department of Defense, Air Force, and Army. Uh, you know, the, the Microsoft area of designation is modern work. Okay. I'm preparing for MS 900 uh, fundamentals, and so is the rest of my team. We, you know, we help clients migrate to M365 and other applications to that platform uh, as well. So I'll stop there with the brief introduction. Yeah, fantastic. Very good. So Roy, I know you've had some some pretty significant changes in the last year uh, with the business certifications. Can you talk a little bit about that for us? I can. I'll um, be happy to. So in this federal government space, the sales cycles are 12 to 18 to 24 months. If you've got a good capture strategy in place, um, you know, luckily for us, eight days, uh, we were given an extra year. So during that year, I was able to secure two, uh, you know, government wide acquisition contracts. 
the 8A Stars 3 contract uh, through a joint venture company that REH Systems is a 51% managing member of. And then we were also able to get on the GSA IT multiple award schedule uh, for professional services. So, uh, and then we were able to just streamline what the offering is, you know, thanks to the executive coaching that came through BCPA in the sessions with Chaitra in particular. Uh, so we we found tune our uh, service offering, and uh, you know and and invested in, you know just the agencies that we're going to pursue. So we've narrowed the focus in FedGov to about five agencies outside of FedGov. The commercial business is coming from K through 12, marketplace, and also the small and medium business. Cool. Exactly. And Roy, you've had an opportunity to participate with our federal team and attend, uh, you know, the first, uh, first, the inaugural event was designed around you coming together for the federal networking group. How was that for you? Well, shout out to Frank. You know, he's the one that picked me up from the airport. So when I shared the fact that I was coming, yeah, he did. He, he I really owe him one. That's good customer service, Roy. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, the, uh, you know, just to be able to put that together, you know, to take advantage of the fact that there were partners in the, in, you know, congregating in a certain area and other partners traveling into that market, you know, it was just really good to put a name with a face yeah. you know, after being on calls each week for months. And then, you know, to your point earlier, the interaction and the conversation was invaluable. There were some follow-ups that I had with a company that was identified in Frank's comments and we're looking at collaborating, you know, on some teaming opportunities that we've identified. So thanks for putting that together, BCPA. Fantastic. Thank you, Christine. So you've you 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 are newer in business than uh, both of these gentlemen here, and your path is definitely a little longer because of your focus. I talked to you last year, and I talked to you this year, and uh, you are now hyper focused on what you're doing. Can you talk a little bit about how? You know, BCPA has played a part for you, be it mentors, mentorship, learning, or otherwise. Yeah, you guys have really uh, been awesome. Um, first and foremost, uh, we were successfully onboarded onto the Microsoft uh, federal subcontracting program. And this program now enables us to market our federal capabilities to a wider audience. And right now, uh, Microsoft uh, has uh, task orders for the DOD space, so we are hoping eventually they can have more task orders in the civilian area, and then we can we can bid for those. Okay. And then right. another key benefit of being in the program is the mentoring and the collaboration within the community, and uh, this is indeed uh, priceless. And uh, this program has enabled us to partner with other peers and get referrals for cybersecurity and cloud uh, initiatives. And finally, okay. through um, many sessions with you, uh, Frank and uh, Lawrence, we were able to laser focus on our capabilities before, because before that, we were all, all over the map. And um, you guys would respond to our to my emails through phone calls, so that is really awesome. Perfect. Yeah. So if, if if you're in the audience, uh, the current board is going to be retiring soon, so we need a new generation to come up and take on this mantle. So Eric already stepped up; he's already doing some mentoring. So <laughs> <laughs> the the great thing about BCPA is we took our limited relationships mm -hmm. and tried to expand and provide resources for other people. I think the true power is when we can all bring our, our resources together to drive that because BCPA was built on the resources and relationships of three or four people that kept expanding. And so now that we you know, have 90, 100 people at a time on our sessions, if we bring all of that together, we can achieve incredible things. So one of the things that uh, I wanted to talk about, so a lot of, um, our contributions have been from Microsoft, who's been a phenomenal partner. We know that these programs will continue to exist if we can prove a return on that investment uh, for, for the companies that are funding us. You know, if you were to say to, to the organizations that provide funding that are supporting our black businesses in these ways, what, what would you say you would like to see or what, you know, why should they continue to fund 
organizations like B, B, BCPA and initiatives like BAPG. And I'll, I'll, whoever wants to go first can take this one. Um, I believe so that um, they can uh, make the playing field more even. And um, and as you as Frank mentioned in the beginning, there's lack of funding for small businesses. So with with uh, this program, many people have been able to benefit uh, because we all know uh, capital is really needed, especially for back end processes such as marketing and business uh, development. So at least in that way, I think it's beneficial for us to continue with this program. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I would second that. I mean, I think that in general, um, more access to smaller entities, um, you know, really means a lot. I mean, it's it's made a big difference for us over the past year. Um, and, you know, when with smaller businesses, we just have a lack of resources. Um, so providing ways and the communication to let us know what's available, I think, is is one of the biggest things they can do. Cool. Roy. Yeah, I would add this has been a blessing. Thank you. I'm grateful for the opportunity to continue to fund it, continue to invite others to participate. Uh, you know, I've, I've had the opportunity to just really focus on our business model, you know, you know, gain some clarity on, you know, program availability and access through Microsoft. Uh, you know, right now we're aligning, you know, to, to really, you know, lean into those areas of designation and build capacity within those areas that's that's modern work and security specifically and you know for me it's really about you know setting up the next generation so this is a vehicle that will facilitate wealth transformation you know into my community with the hires that i'm able to make the jobs i'm able to create the path that i'm able to put young people on in the pursuit of technology certification is my why and so thank you, Microsoft, for, uh, you know, just really defining what that roadmap looks like uh, and allowing us uh, Black Channel partners access to it. Perfect. Excellent. What, what, what are you each looking forward to uh, over the next year with your businesses? So I, I know for me personally, uh, the last year has been around building infrastructure for growth. Right. So what are you each looking forward to? So, Christine, what are you looking forward to? And, you know, what do you potentially see CKSS doing over the next year? Oh, for starters, we'd like uh, Microsoft to award us the task orders in that program. <laughs> <laughs> you got some people on here that can help. What else? Yes, that, that would be awesome. That would be good. And uh, um, on the other side, uh, we'll continue to provide um, um, our services to the federal government, such as CMS on the Microsoft Azure for government, and also we'll continue uh, working with our current uh, customer base, uh, providing services such as CMMC. And then we intend to foster relationships with uh, other people from within the company, uh, uh, the community, because as you said, we are only as good uh, when we uh, uh, join forces together. So that is what we will be working on uh, for next year, partnerships and uh, doing a lot of business development, capture management, and uh, a lot of proposal writing. OK. Yeah. Er Eric, you, you got capital for Microsoft, I believe, one of those beautiful low interest, uh, low, low, application, um, low application threshold loans. Uh, so now loaded with uh, money, education, and access to opportunities. What are you fired about, up about for the next year? And just applying all of those things. Um, you know, we've got this growth plan for the next three or five years um, to to double where we are uh, currently. Um, so I'm just learning to be a better business owner and learning how to run my business better and apply all the things that I've learned, um, as well as just more alignment with with Microsoft um, and building more and more strategic relationships. You know, so you know, kind of a rising tide lifts all boats sort of a thing so we you know we all can do better fantastic roy what's what's the next year look like you got a couple of couple of big time contracts there what's uh, what's happening in the next year for you so i'm looking to win more 8a sole source direct awards i'm looking to be competitive on 8a competitive i'm looking to leverage these two contract vehicles that i was just able to secure that's the 8a stars three vehicle 
and also the GSA IT mass schedule. You know, above and beyond that, I can see, you know, putting in place the Polaris, uh, you know, government wide acquisition contract vehicle uh, and creating another five to seven year run rate on that vehicle. Uh, but I intend to, you know, just really accelerate. I intend to, I just made a couple hires. I'm looking at making a few more hires, some really young people coming into the industry mentoring them and putting them on the path for IT training and certification. Uh, some of them are interning, some of them are shadowing, and some of them have been onboarded as, as new employees. I'm just looking to really scale up the Microsoft Channel Partner Program, uh, you know, drive more revenue into the business, maintain the, the healthy commercial business that I have today, but accelerate in the, in the federal government space simultaneously. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to raise your hands for a second. So if you've added employees in the last year, can you raise your hand? Okay, more than one employee, can you raise your hand? Let's go. Okay, so <laughs> suffice it to say, if you get involved in BCPA, you get involved in BAPTI, you want to grow your business, this is the place to be. We have phenomenal partners running through our programs, getting access to capital, finding access to opportunities, and we're just getting started. So BCPA is one year old this year. We've been partnering with Microsoft for a year and a half to bring the programs that will ultimately drive and grow your business. And so when you see a message come through, you can follow us on LinkedIn. When you see a message asking for partners or asking for a testimonial, if you put a testimonial, you will likely have Microsoft eventually do a fancy video for you, uh, like Dexter had earlier when they started out the program. Take advantage of the opportunity, step up, step in, put your hand up and say, yes, I will do it. And uh, we look forward to, to, to networking with you all later. BCPA is a labor of love and passion for me. Um, you know, anything you hear are things that we found really helped with our businesses. And as you can tell from the three partners here, uh, are starting to achieve incredible results with us too. So with that, I will thank you all very much. And uh, we will move on to the next program. Thank you. As we continue with our program, I want to recognize a couple of our partners, the Henson Group and Appoint. We thank you for your partnership and for believing in what we're building. I want to thank a thought leader and welcome someone who's been a champion for our shared vision. She works diligently to ensure that our programs receive support, resources necessary to help bring forth the training, and opportunities for our black partners, including events like this. I want to invite now onto the stage, Microsoft strategy lead of the Black Partner Growth Initiative, Regina Johnson. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having uh, me today. I'm so excited to be here today. And it was awesome to hear from Christine, Eric, and Roy about their experience, as well as from Frank, Nyasha, and Danny, and David about BCPA progress. Um, as has been mentioned continually um, during Juneteenth and throughout the entire year, we want to always continually amplify the voice of partners. And I'm always excited to share and hear the stories about solutions and services from Black partners. Here at Microsoft, we are focused on a collective effort to strengthen the Microsoft partner ecosystem through the enablement of Black uh, partners and really to uh, partner with the community. And I mentioned collective because we will continually work in collaboration with the community and with partners, with you in the audience. And so I'm just gonna briefly talk a little bit more specifically about the Microsoft Black Partner Growth Initiative, Progress and Next Steps. So two, almost two years into this journey, we still, just like a BCPA mentioned, we're just scratching the surface of what can and should be accomplished. And we often say our work isn't done until programs like the Black Partner Growth Initiative aren't even needed. We're working each day to ensure that this body of work and to support Black partners um, is really embedded into every thread at Microsoft. That's very, very important to me. 
uh, and important to our team. And on a personal level, working with so many of you all has been a privilege and an honor. And I'm always going to first and foremost highlight the work of partners. So I would actually like to share just a few examples of partners who have been thriving and really just call out the work that they are doing. I've been inspired by the stories of partners like Tiffany Stennard, who is founder and CEO of Stimulus Incorporated, who has developed a relationship intelligence SaaS platform that helps organizations make better purchasing decisions. And not only does her solution help organizations bottom line, but it's also doing the transformative work of putting dollars back into the Black community. I've also seen partners like Dexter Hardy, we've heard his name a couple of times, of Integral, for whom I will speak with the next. He he has ascended to 600% growth over the past uh, two years through a successful business pivot, cultivating commercial marketplace offers, offerings through Microsoft and deepening his firm's engagement with Microsoft. These are examples of stories that fuel me, my team, and the work that we do. And as we look ahead to the next fiscal year, we're always looking forward to hearing and sharing more of your stories. I know Nayasha mentioned we always have opportunities to really amplify partner work. So when those opportunities um, come forward, especially if you're in the Black Partner Growth Initiative, we want to hear from you. We want to hear your stories that showcase growth grit and the impact that you're already having in the community where you live and work. And so this Juneteenth, and again, throughout the whole year, the Black Partner Growth Initiative is always going to be thinking about the theme of building, dreaming, and grow. Especially during Juneteenth, we celebrate those who embrace the freedom to build and del deliver innovative solutions and services. We embrace those who achieve the wildest dreams of our ancestors, and we applaud those who have invested their time, talent, and energy to grow with us. So as I mentioned, I always like to start with that. I'm gonna um, just show talk a little bit about progress. We do just have one slide that I would love it could be if it could be shown. And I'm just gonna walk through a little bit about some of the things that have happened in the past year with uh, partners. So as they are pulling it up, I'm gonna just talk through about how enabling our partners encompasses a huge component of our goals. And the reason is cultivating generational wealth, building opportunities for our partners. It sits at the heart of this initiative. You are already thriving. You're already building solutions and services. We're always thinking about how we can we can support you to push forward the growth of your business um, to support you in your journey for increased customer attainment, increased revenue, and really, really increased growth so that you can do the work that you are passionate in doing. The second year specifically of the Microsoft Black Partner Growth Initiative has gleaned key insights into the characteristics of our Black partner uh, community. We spent a lot of time talking to partners. We don't want to do this work in a silo. We've spent a lot of time uh, talking with Black Channel Partner Alliance and App Meetup and other partners, and this has influenced our approach. So this enabling effort has included the delivery of programs and opportunities designed to contribute to the growth of our partners. And today, to date, I'll just share a few things that have happened. We've supplied executive enablement training opportunities to more than 300 partners engaged within the initiative just uh, this year. We enabled more than 50 partners through our first BBGI accelerator program, driving greater than 50% revenue growth for our partners. And we're really excited to work deeper in collaboration with uh, Black Channel Partner Alliance and App Meetup and the community uh, in the future for uh, an accelerator. In a partnership with our global treasury and financial service team within Microsoft. You, you heard about our capital program and it's, it's led by them. We provided a 29 uh, no interest to low interest loans to partners totaling $10.7 million. And that is called the Microsoft Capital Partner Fund. And there's more to come and we want to make sure that you have access to that. We've also matched 44 partners to mentors to ensure they're well connected across the organization. So these are just a, a little bit of the tidbit tidbit. And the main thing is connecting you as a partner to, um, to, to access to information and resources to help you thrive. And again, this work has not been done in a silo. It's taken 
one of my favorite words, a collective ecosystem to ensure our partners are supported. So I have to call out partners like Danny and Jenny Brown of App Meetup, who served as the supplier of record this year for our accelerator program. Partner development managers from across the organization who internally, who have risen their hands to help our partners meet their goals. And that is an awesome opportunity for partners to talk to a PDM when typically you have to be a managed partner. And we were able to provide that type of support so you can talk to a PDM about how you can push your uh, business forward. And then finally, this incredible community in the Black Channel Partner Alliance, um, heralds by the board, Nyasha, Frank, uh, Danny, and David, has rolled up their sleeves to do the hard work of creating programming opportunities that effectively support the broader community. And we're going to move on and talk specifically with one of the partners who has been engaged in this initiative. But again, for those in the audience, um, if you're in BCPA, in BBGI, a Microsoft stakeholder, an ally, I want to thank you all for going on this journey with us. We really, really look forward to iterating and providing more opportunities over the next fiscal year to continue, again, thinking about the theme to build, dream, and grow with you. So that is a little bit about the progress of the Black Partner Growth Initiative. And at this time, I um, believe Dexter Harding is, Tardy is going to be joining me, uh, a partner within the initiative. And Dexter, I am going to just talk about, um, let you talk about how your business has grown. Awesome. Um, can you hear me okay? We can. If you can uh, turn on your video, I'm going to introduce uh, you, just the founder of CEO and Integral, and then you can just introduce yourself whenever you're ready. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, yes, my name is Dexter Hardy. I am the president and CEO of Integral Inc. We're headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. And, um, you know, what we do is we help customers accelerate their movement to the cloud. So we took the 20 years of things that we've done and um, generated some accelerators for customers to move to the cloud. 20 years, 20 yeah. years, that is 20 years of impact. And, you know, I'm going to dig deeper and ask you a few more questions, Dexter, because you heard me um, walk through a little bit of the progress that has made uh, within the Black Partner Growth Initiative. The audience has heard as well. And many have alluded, even BCPA, to a few of the components of your story. What I'd like to do now is dive into your keys to success in the, this 20 years of really building and growing. So often we talk about within uh, the initiative about providing knowledge sharing to help enable successful partnership with Microsoft. You have been a partner. How did you get engaged with the Black Partner Growth Initi Initiative? Let's start there. Okay. So I actually found out about the Black Partner Growth Initiative through an email uh, that was sent out by being, we were already in the partner network program. And so the email came out, we sent out the, uh, responded to it. It was something that we were interested in. And a wonderful gentleman by the name of Daniel Aikam reached out and said, uh, you know, hey, here are the details for the program. Here's how you signed up. And like I said, from there, it was like we uh, entered into a rocket ship um, <laughs> from the <laughs> from regard to, you know, access to people, access to capital, um, all of the uh, different trainings that are available. So it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And I actually loved that you called out uh, Daniel uh, Ikem, who is, I talked about PDM. So he's one of the PDMs that partners get the opportunity to um, work with. Can you share a little bit about your connection to the Microsoft Partner Capital Fund? Okay. Yeah. So um, as part of this program, there was an initiative to, um, to obviously allow access to capital and uh, run the McCurney was the person that we reached out to, uh, submitted some financial information, some projections on what we thought we could do with um, a little bit of help. Uh, um, and I know that was that's an overarching theme with regard to small businesses and, and minority-owned firms is capital. And so um, 
it's been absolutely phenomenal. Um, with the access to the capital, we, we were, we've actually pulled forward a lot of the um, initiatives that we have. And like I said, our growth and the trajectory that we're on now is, is due in part to that capital. So love Microsoft for it. I, I've already told everybody, I sent out the email. You guys are getting a hug when I see you. I'm just, just putting it out. <laughs> I, I I love hugs, especially because outside it's opening back up. So we're really excited about doing more in-person events uh, next year to meet partners like you in person. You know, the past two years we've been seeing each other virtually. One thing I want to call out, uh, though, is just how much I love that you've really dived in and tapped into uh accessing these resources that have been pre presented. I know you are also a, a participant of the Black Partner Growth Initiative Accelerator Program this year. Can you share what you gained from that experience and what you would encourage others who seek to participate in our more enhanced accelerator in partnership with community next year? What, share a little bit more about your experience and what others should be looking for to take away. Okay. Um, so I'll start that with going back to the 20 years of experience, just real brief. Um, we've been in business. We were in business for since 2002 and COVID hit us really hard. Mm -hmm. um, and um, when I say it hit us hard, it forced us to rethink what we, how we viewed the world of consulting. And so that is what, that was the nexus of generating all these products. What we took for our customers or what we did for our customers we generated those as products. And so by being a part of this program, by being a part of the accelerator, um, it, it was basically lighter fluid to, uh, ex, you know, to take us from being a regional consulting company to now we have customers in, I only know that there's 195 countries in the world because we're in over 100. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, okay. so, so, so I say that to say it's 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 been absolutely phenomenal. Something that you I want to call out is rethink. I think that is so pivotal and needed, especially for small and uh, medium-sized business owners, always thinking about how to iterate upon their business, how to sometimes pivot and grab opportunity and really um, progress differently. And I love the fact that you took that step and you've seen such great results from that. I actually want to also talk about from your 20 years of experience, I'm sure there's people who may want to know you have often been referenced an integral as a success story, particularly in using the Microsoft commercial marketplace. A lot of uh, sometimes people aren't aware of the value prop of it or uh, how to get into it or how to utilize it for growth. So I want to know if you can share a little bit about why you think transacting on the marketplace is important and what advice you would offer to other partners who are questioning its value. Just share a little bit about how you use it. Okay, so um, first and foremost, you have a captive audience of 4 million active users who, who are enterprise customers on a daily basis. Uh, so with that audience, we took, like I said, we took our products and put it out there and we didn't have to say that our product was good or bad. The marketplace was the acid test to tell us, yeah, your, your products are successful and they started using it. Um, I know a lot of companies, I'm sure you guys get inundated with, you know, hey, we got leads, we got leads, we got leads. Our products, um, we're generating leads uh, to the tune of several hundred uh, leads on any, any given week, we have anywhere from 100 to 500 new leads because of the growth and span of this marketplace. And like I said, being in the marketplace. So what would be what would be my advice to a small business that's looking to pivot that?
tech is not necessarily our friend today. I know Dexter was dropping some jewels. So Dexter, when you come back, I want you to just, uh, you were in the process of sharing um, advice for partners. And it's so funny. I see David Cole in the chat say, Dexter, come, come back. And I actually talking about consulting services can also be listed in the marketplace. Danny calling out the fact that you had 500 new leads. So just repeat the advice you have uh, for partners, uh, Dexter, a little bit about it. Okay, so I, I will start with one, one the rethink component. Mm -hmm. Everybody that is in business, you have your unique superpower. Thanks to App Meetup, we've we've perfected our superpower, and that is we have the ability to have our product put out there in the marketplace. The second thing is, it's frictionless. The marketplace gives you a place of not only people to buy your product, but they handle the currency exchange, all of the things that would allow you to expand in a in a in, in this world's uh, economy from not just being in the U.S. but across all geographic regions. And then, because we've connected it to our CRM system, obviously those leads are then fed into our CRM system, and now we have a inter an intimate connection with not only who's using our product, but which products they're using, what type of demand that we are getting from our products. And all of those insights are in the um, Partner Center portal so that we can get gain uh, meaningful information on not, on not only just who's using our product, but what products are most prevalent in which geographic region. And um, you know, through the support of our team, we have an international team, um, you know, we actually, converted our website into the, the demand of languages what we see so we had a lot of demand in, in uh, latin america so we have spanish uh we have customers out of vietnam so we have our website in in vietnamese and um we actually have some people out of ukraine that work uh, on our team and so our website is in ukrainian as well so you will have um it, it provides you with uh, one the infinite growth opportunity uh, with regard to access and then a global span. I couldn't have said it uh, better. And I love the fact that you called out some of the 100 uh, countries that you're in. And really, Dexter, hearing how this has uh, supported you is something that we are always going to push, especially internally. And then for all partners, how different things have supported. I want the audience to know um, because of successes like yours in the marketplace, our uh, team and other teams within Microsoft really um, uh, pushed for diversity attestation in uh, the marketplace. So, you, so you'll be able to be seen as a minority owned partner, a, a diverse partner, because there are people looking for Black-owned partners to have solutions and services. And we're really excited about internally being able to showcase that so people can find your solutions and services even more, even though you already got 500 leads, Dexter, so get ready, <laughs> you know, <laughs> get ready. Well, you know, in, in business, there's no such thing as too many leads. So um, we our, our conversion rate is high. And like I said, it makes our stock, the marketplace, it's, it's little to no risk. Your product is already vetted by Microsoft. It's a sound architecture. It's a, it wouldn't be in the marketplace if it, if it didn't meet that criteria. So enterprise customers, they, they know the quality is there. The second piece is, um, you know, it's easy. You know, customers don't even really have to be technical. As long as they can click on get it now, they can spin up those resources and start migrating to the Azure cloud today. So click on get it now. Uh, <laughs> and uh, start using Azure. Yeah. Any other last words you want to share with the audience about your progress, how you're thinking about continuing to partner with Microsoft and partner with those in the community for growth? Or any other last advice you want to share for other partners who are looking to expand like you? Okay. So um, in, in celebration of Juneteenth, uh, Juneteenth to our organization is hope realized. I know that there have been a lot of people, a lot of companies, a lot of thought leaders that came up for us that put us in the place where we are. Uh, yeah. Microsoft, thank you so much for providing this. 
Um, but what I would say to other firms that are looking at this program, take that leap of faith. You don't know, uh, as Martin Luther King said, we don't need to see the top of the stairwell, just need to see the first step. Mm. Take the first step. Know that Microsoft is trying to um, do their part to in, to create a, a level playing field. So by doing so, by taking that first step, by understanding um, that the end goal is to, uh, as the gentleman said earlier, when the tide comes in, all the boats will rise. So mm -hmm. um, Microsoft is, is providing that access. Um, take that first step. Understand that there is there is some growth. You may need to rethink. You may need to pivot from where your current um, marketplace is. But like I said, if you've been in business, you have a solid business plan. Um, the sky's the limit with regard to where you can go. And um, thank you again for everything that you're doing and uh, this program. Dexter, if you had a bike, you, this would be the time to drop the bike. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect to end this uh, segment. Juneteenth is hope realized, you know, taking it back to why we are here. Take the first step. Dexter, you really dropped some knowledge. Thank you so much for joining. And I know we didn't have a lot of time together, but just sharing some top notes of how you have grown and some advice to other partners. Uh, to the, we really appreciate you. We look forward to more partners in the audience like you joining us on this journey. We look forward to continuing to partner with Black Channel Partner Alliance, who is really, really moving forward the, the needle with other. Uh, partner organizations with other Microsoft uh, stakeholders and other people in the community on this journey to really, really drive partner success and growth. So again, thank you so much, Dexter. And I am going to hand it back over to David for the next uh, segment of this program. All right. Thanks so much. Tell me your favorite song. You go ahead, let your hair down. your dreams. Just go ahead and let your hair down. You're gonna find yourself somewhere. Hello, everybody. Hey, Eddie, how's it going? It's good, buddy. How you doing? I am excited. Things are going so well. I am uh, out of town today, but I did not want to miss this most important event. I love what Regina said. She has said Juneteenth is hope realized. And I'm so excited because it is so true. And I would tell all of our audience members out there today, if you are trying to grow your business, you better listen up. We're giving you the steps you need to take to grow your business, not just grow it a little bit, but grow it drastically. Can you imagine a 600% growth and receiving up to 500 leads a week? <laughs> yeah, we all have to be like Dexter for sure. <laughs> I know, I'm so excited. Well, everybody, uh, BCPA, along with our fellow community members, the International Association of Microchannel Partners, and of course, the Women in Cloud, but we are so excited to have each of you on. And today, I'm going to ask just a few questions to get some insights from the other communities that we partner with. And we have the leaders of both communities on today. We have Traitra, who's also the founder of Women in Cloud. We have Eddie Bader, who's the president of IMCP. And we're so excited to have them on board. Welcome, everybody. Thank you Thanks. for having us. Awesome. Before we get involved, before we start with all the questions, our audience may not know you. So I'm going to give you guys uh, 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds. Please introduce yourself and then also introduce your organization. Let's go ahead and start off with Eddie. Oh, uh, hi, everyone. Uh, Eddie Bader uh, out of Southern California. Um, IMCP is just a global or organization of Microsoft channel partners where we focus on driving business and uh, helping you understand how to navigate through the uh, Microsoft ecosystem. Uh, super happy to be here and I uh, appreciate the, the invitation to, to share in the celebration today. So thank you. Chaicha. Thank you, Danny, and the entire BCPA team for inviting us. I'm really excited to 
be here to celebrate with each one of you. Uh, so I'm really delighted and also grateful and blessed to be here. Uh, I'm Chaitra Vedalapali. I'm the co-founder and president of Women in Cloud. People know me as a curious entrepreneur and I spend joy uh, spending time with entrepreneurs. So I hear you. I see you. I'm here to see if I can drop some nuggets if you will help with the recession proofing your business today. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so very much for the both of you introducing yourselves. Now, I think a lot of people in the audience over the previous messaging that's been going on, they said, how do we join BIPG? How do we join BCPA? I'd like to ask you guys, can you please tell our audience how they can join your organization and what are the top couple of benefits, maybe the top three benefits of joining your organization? Because we started off with Eddie first last time, let's go ahead and ask Chaitra if you can lead that off with that question, please. Oh boy, that's a tough one to go, Danny, but let's see. Uh, first is uh, people who don't know about Women in Cloud. Uh, we are uh, we focus a lot on um, economic development with women founders and also professionals to create a billion dollars in economic access. And we are united by the corporate ESG and the UN sustainable goals that are driven, really focused on job creation, diversity and inclusion, tech innovation and sustainability, giving women and allies a powerful platform to accelerate as uh, industry leaders. So we focus a lot on workforce development, economic development, and public policy efforts. Around the workforce development, we ensure that we are providing scholarships for women uh, so, and allies uh, so that they can get skilled on cloud economic development. We partner with BCPA on helping with the acceleration uh, of their accelerator and also invite the women founders to ensure that they have ultimate access to grow their work. Uh, and especially in the marketplace arena, because not many companies know how to co-sell, co-market with Microsoft. We bring in that expertise. And policy advocacy, we work with IMCP as well as uh, VFI and BCPA to really advance the tech policies to ensure that our access, freedom, and security is not impacted. Uh, and we are launching some of the cool things, and Danny will talk about it soon. Awesome. Eddie? Yeah, um, I, I just want to start off by saying that um, communities are don't have to be mutually exclusive, right? We each represent a different community. We each have a certain focus. But if you think of them like freeways, um, especially here in Southern California, I, I use many freeways to get to a destination. Um, and, and I think you have to think about communities in the same way. Um, you may start on one and get off and jump on another one or connect to it. And that's how the communities work together. You may be on the BCPA highway and then connect to IMCP, meet some partners, learn some things, go back to BCPA and do great business. I, I think there's a way that we all interconnect here. And I think it's really important that you you understand there's a place for, for all of us in, in each of our communities, right? So with that said, I will just tell you that the focus of, of our uh, group, IMCP, is to bring people and partners together, right? So networking, um, understanding where we, we can play together and, and build more business. Um, the opportunities are expansive and they're global, right? And, and my perspective is you can always do more together than you can do individually. Kind of like Frank was talking about earlier, if you wanna go far, you know, go, go together, go with somebody else, right? And, and that's who you'll find. You'll find an array of partners within the community, um, all with different perspectives, all, all with different skill sets and a, a genuine interest in, in building something together. The other thing we do is we try and um, demystify some of the Microsoft partner experience. There's a lot of information out there, a lot of great resources, and, and sometimes you don't know where to start. So we try and help you understand like where to get a foothold. And then there's the other part of partnering. It's not just deals, but it's also about, hey, how do you how do we run our business, right? I've had this situation going from 250,000 annually to a million annually, that's one step. Going from a million to 5 million is a completely different animal. And we have an array of partners that, that have had that experience and are willing to share what they did and, and what not to do, more importantly. And then lastly, it, it's really trying to bring more people into this ecosystem. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Uh, there is an, an equity and inclusion problem in our ecosystem and we're trying to address that together right so it's not that everybody it's not enough to say that everybody's welcome it's we want you here with us we want to create programs that widen people's gaze look for talent where they might not normally look for talent for 
and be very intentional about how we bring people in. So we have digital transformation, um, which is a Microsoft funded program to uh, train people on Dynamics and Power Platform. That's great if you're a partner and you're trying to skill up your team, or it's also awesome to find other people who are looking to get into the tech industry, right? And then the last thing I'll say is with the new changes in the partner system with uh, the new commerce experience and the Microsoft Cloud Partner Program, we are doing essentially weekly programs that, have, that bring partners together and we talk through it. We wanna hear what your particular situation is how you're dealing with it. Are you struggling with something? What questions can we answer for you? And as was said by Nayasha, we're very much the same way for partners by partners because we see things from a different lens, right? So just know that we're there. Um, we want to work with you and we're trying to create on ramps to our highway all the time. And it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you join on. We're going to help you get to where you want to be. And you can always just go to IAMCP.org to join. Thank you very much. And I want to let the audience know that the analogy that Eddie used for the freeways is so profound because this community is all about helping you, the business owner, grow. Can you imagine all the billions of articles, all the billions worth of or petabytes worth of data that Microsoft has, and you're a little partner trying to figure out how do I navigate the system? How do I grow my business? Well, you have these awesome communities right here. You have the INCP who can tell you, understand all the Microsoft lingo, the terminology. You have uh, the Women in Cloud platform. Like, look, if you do not have to feel alone. You can excel in a male dominate tech industry and be amazing behind it. You can get in front of the UN. You can be a billion dollar goal. I love that. And you do not have to be a minority. You do not have to be a woman to support these communities. We are all lifting each other up and growing each other. So everybody here today, if you do not connect with these individuals on LinkedIn, shame on you. This is the opportunity to help grow and scale your business. Don't fall down on your own. Get people to help you and go faster. That is going to be so fantastic. Hey, guys, as we start to wrap up, just a couple of things. Can you share one success story? Because our audience, they want to become that success story. We're on this journey. Can you just share one little success story from each of your communities? Because we want to imagine ourselves in that driver's seat, on that freeway, growing our business. Uh, why don't we start off with Eddie this time, and then we'll close it off with Chaitra. Eddie, how do, can you just share one success story from one partner? Yeah, you know, Danny, I will. And I'm really happy to share this because you, you're a part of it, right? Um, uh, we have started our own accelerator called IMCP Propulsion, very similar to uh, the BIPG program in ways, and, and we're supported by Danny's group at Meetup. Um, but the real synergy there is that one of our partners that is in the middle of going through that um, accelerator has connected with a graduate from the BIPG program. And now those two are partnering together and doing business in the financial services section. So there's a there's some really great stories to be here to told here. And I'll just say the two joint ventures that I've heard coming out of uh, the BIPG program where three or more partners have come together in two separate instances. That's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And you're absolutely correct. We had a couple of joint ventures put together through that. So thank you very much for sharing it. So awesome. Chaitra, what can you share? A little success story too, please. So Daddy, is it okay if I can do a digress for like two minutes, one minute, and then come back to the success story? Is that okay? Just for you, but anybody else, I may have to say no. <laughs> okay. So basically, I think the, the uh, elephant in the room that many people are not talking about right now in the tech industry is the recession is mm. coming but this one that lately we are focused a lot on that is on our mind and it is in the recession proofing the community the business as well as your life so my question to all of you here is as a business owner how many of you are thinking about recession proofing your business and what are you thinking of recession proofing your business what are you thinking go ahead and put it in the chat because it's important the only thing during the recession, it was 2009, I was in the Microsoft side, and the only strategy that worked recession-proofing your business was partnering. Mm -hmm. So partnering with the, the brand, which is Microsoft, partnering with the community, and doing partner to partner, as well as doing, you know, putting your effort, you have to put in the effort to stand out and not really losing focus on it. So that is very, very important. So as part of this work, a couple of things that we are doing with uh, BCPA and IMCP is 
ensuring that we are jointly collectively working together to ensure we show up very well at the Microsoft Inspire. We are coming and showing up really well at the Women in Cloud Inspire event, focusing on helping you co-build, co-sell, and co-market together. So don't miss out on that opportunity. So a great example for me is Carol uh, Reese. We met with her at the BCPA Accelerator. Absolutely a stellar entrepreneur, somebody who has a, a audacious and bold goals like how Women in Cloud community thinks. We talked to her and we invited around the 51 certification policy that affects the diverse partners. And the issue is if as a tech woman founder to get certified, it's a long process and it's very expensive process. But once you raise the funding from an investor, automatically you lose that status and you lose all the access and benefits. And that probably will happen, uh, uh, Danny, for uh, diverse partners too, the minority status or maybe a woman certified status. She was here helping collaborate with us, really giving the insider experience of what that feels like. With that one, we are working on putting together an op-ed article and working with the Forbes to ensure that the conversation is highlighted so we as a collective community can really drive the change. And Eddie was with there really ensuring that that content is also uh, ex you know, embraced and we are advocating within the IMCP community. So that's what a collaboration looks like. That's what partnership looks like. It's not just revenue. It's not just leads. It's a holistic integration of your business as well as the community and making sure your business is recession proved. So you are at a high success and you do need the community to support you. So that's my uh, digress and coming back to the case study. Awesome. Thank you so very much, Terry Jane. And I love how you talked about partnering. And one of the things that Eddie preaches is every single week is P to P. And you brought that up. Hey, to help you with recession proofing, you got to look into partnering. And that is so crucial. We cannot make it on our own. You cannot know every single technology underneath the sun. You have to find a partner who you can work with, you can collaborate with. And there's no better place than right here. I'm going to challenge everybody today. If you have not signed up for Microsoft Inspire, do that today after you network. Sign up. It is a free registration. Make sure you stop by the Women in Cloud. Make sure you stop by the IMCP and hear from their leadership team. This, There's no way BCPA would be where it would be today if it wasn't for Eddie challenging us with the IMCP, born out of IMCP, without Chaicha meeting with our partners and, and challenging us as well. It was has been the number one thing on our mind was mindset from day one. It was mindset, mindset, mindset. And so I'm going to give you all a challenge today. It's the mindset you need to work on right now. Sign up for Microsoft Inspire. Go see the IMCP booth, go see the Women in Cloud booth, sign up with BIPG, the Black Party Growth Initiative, because what Regina is doing over there is amazing, phenomenal, and it is life-changing, not only for Dexter's business and everyone else, but also for our businesses as well. This has been life-changing. I'm so excited. So on the behalf of BCPA, Eddie, Chaitra, we want to thank you so very much about sharing your communities with our members. And I hope that everybody today signs up and even if you're not a woman, you can support Women in Cloud. I'm a supporter. Frank's a supporter. Frank's on the board as well. And if you're afraid and you don't know where to go, sign up with uh, Eddie Bader at IMCP and IAMCP, International Association of Microsoft Channel Partners. And then, of course, join AFPOINT and Greg Henson here, who's, who's on today. And the Henson Group, he's been a great and valuable mentor, not only for the members, but also to me as well in my business. So we're so grateful. At this moment, I'm going to turn it back over to David. Well, uh, man, that was awesome. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're doing well. What a fantastic time to be together. And this was entitled, really, when you think about it, celebrating Juneteenth, the state of the Black partner. And that's what this has been. And I've been so excited to hear about the stories. I mean, it's amazing to have Regina on talking about the focus for Microsoft, what they're doing with the Black Growth Partner Initiative, to have Dexter on. I appreciate the panel members incredible stories of what you guys are doing, how you're leveraging the relationship between the Black Channel Partner Alliance and BIPG to make this work. And I appreciate even at the very end with my twin brother and the panel with Chaitra and Eddie 
to know that there are resources out there, that we're doing everything we can to navigate this incredibly vast ecosystem and to make sure that you're set up for incredible success. So I want to thank you all for joining our time of celebration. Thank you to Microsoft, our panel members. It's incredible to have all of you here. Thank you for the music that's been played. For a lot of you may know that's Kareem Bailey Ray's Put Your Music On in the background, the drum selection. I do have a few announcements, though, before we leave. And let me give you some encouragement. Whatever you took from today, a little nugget here, you want to get part of BCPA, make sure you go into our website, become a part of the BCPA directory. You're going to get access to incredible material. You're going to get information that will help propel your organization. I definitely want to thank the incredible sponsors of our programs, the people that have come on to support us. We could not do this without you. And trust me, there are more resources that are going to be following. We have the Henson Group. We have AppPoint. We have so many things we're going to start offering in terms of uh, more coaching, more training, sales and leadership programs that we're going to be developing. So if you haven't already done so, grab a few moments of your time afterwards, get to BCPA's website, and go ahead and get a, a part of that, become a part of that directory. I also want to let you know that we have now a YouTube channel. So if you haven't been on YouTube in a while, they are the second largest search engine in the world. Go ahead and make sure you find the BCPA YouTube page. Subscribe to it. Follow us on LinkedIn. We're going to keep you in tune and informed of what's going on from this point on. I also want to just thank all of you that have joined us today. I appreciate the professor and her thoughts on Juneteenth that this is a time to celebrate. This is a time to know that this has become what we call hope realized, that this is an opportunity for all of us. Before I dismiss you, I want to give you a charge. We have some time for networking. There are going to be tables set up. Find somebody you've never met before. Get to know who that person is. They can become a last long-term partner for you and your organization. Also realize that there are going to be tables set aside for understanding more about BIPG, IMCP, Women in Cloud. Ask your questions there. Let's make sure we understand that this community that we put together, that we're a part of, that we're all here in a twine to make sure we're all successful. So let's provide more exposure. Let's connect with more opportunities and let's work together to grow this community. I lastly want to charge you to talk about Juneteenth with your family, with your friends, with the organizations that you're a part of. Many people don't realize that this holiday just was put into law last year, but it's something we, we should talk about. But thank you, lastly, for allowing BCPA to be a part of your success journey. Thank you for allowing us to celebrate and grow with you as we talk about the success of the Black Partner. Enjoy and be intentional with your networking. Look forward to seeing you guys on our future Power Forums and even to the upcoming Microsoft Inspire Conference. Take care, everyone. We look forward to the networking.